just about throws my big ears off fishing at a golf course pond um, with uh, Ethan Brooks fishing. He invited me out to come out there and fish with him. I had my uh, ultralight pole with me with four pound line and the trout slayer. And uh, I knew they'd been fishing and trying to catch fish for a while. So I just went ahead and went straight to it. And it was a good thing I did because I ended up catching a bunch of fish out of the uh, couple ponds and a little creek that runs into it. When I go fishing, I like to catch fish and I, I don't like spending all, t all day uh, fishing big lures and if I don't feel like I'm gonna catch anything. So I just wanna try to catch some stuff and I was able to do that today. So go check out uh, Ethan Brooks Fishing and uh, check out this video. I got one. <laughs> Yeah, oh boy, yeah. That thing's a monster. <laughs> Look at that tadpole. What's that thing? It's fat. <laughs> Maybe you should use it for bait. Probably could, yeah. Come here, little bluegill. On the trout slayer. Got that one. Hey, it's a little bass. Hey, swallowed that thing. <laughs> hey, it's a little chubby too. I'm over here fishing some ponds, golf course ponds, fishing some bigger ponds, couldn't catch nothing. Come down to the smallest one. And I'm using a little trout slayer, catching a few fish. Fishing here with Ethan, Ethan Brooks fishing. Uh, I knew the name, but I couldn't remember what it was. Yeah, Had to go small to try to catch some of his little ones. That's a nice little it must be a little deep hole here. Yeah. <laughs> they're little, but they're fish. Uh, red breast. Winds. Killer. There you go. That's a crappie. Huh. That's a thin one though. <laughs> it's got everything in here. My favorite, maybe uh, the fish whisper. You watch him? He's got like the pet bass. Yeah. Man, goodness, look at that thing. They're shaking like crazy. Uh, red breast. Yeah, he's got those, uh, he like feeds those pet bass with, his, with minnows and stuff and feeds the turtles. But um, a lot of the, like the Guggen Squad guys and stuff, they kind of get on my nerves. I don't really watch them much. Yeah. Uh, I watch a lot of Fluke Master because he teaches a lot. And I can't wait till it gets hot because I'm going to start. That's why I love using the summertime. Yeah. Crick hopper. Because you can use it in shallow water because it floats. Yeah. But when you start cranking it, sometimes I'll hit it right when it hits the water. When you start cranking it, they like they can't resist. It's like, oh, a grasshopper. Yeah, I'm about to go over back to that creek. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, I think it's a little longer than the one I caught before. Yeah, yeah he's, he's just a little bit longer. Yeah, he don't have the pot belly, so it's a different one. No. Did you go oh, across the fence or anything? No. I wanted to go over there, like there looked like a little deep hole over there. Yeah. I might try to do that. Oh, that's a good one. Hey, look at that. That's a little chunky. Real colorful. I knew I missed one over here earlier. Yeah. We're fishing this pond over here. I'm gonna try to go up this creek. There's a fence right there. Go over to the other side. I see some uh, deep pockets. Maybe I can drop this trout magnet in there. 
or this uh, trout slayer in there and catch something. I had a bite right away. Looks like it may be uh, a couple feet deep here. Oh, oh, there we go. There's one. Oh, oh man, look at this bass. Ah. Ah, had to come to the pond, the creek, to catch the small, the biggest fish. There, he choked that thing. Little uh, panfish assassin doing pretty good. There we go. Little bass, dude. We got a, a bucket. <laughs> Put it, take it to your um. I did. I was a spotty gar in my fish tank. Oh really? I'm gonna hold it out really, really far. <laughs> thing's gosh. That's why. That's why I think it's just cool fishing and stuff like that. You, you don't know what you're gonna cook. Hook. 